to the morning show. It's time for your money, and scammers are taking advantage of fears surrounding the coronavirus. Yeah, they're setting up websites to sell bogus products and using fake emails, text messages, and social media posts as a way to take your money and get your personal information. Consumer economics educator Kathy Sweedler is here to share how you can keep yourself from being fooled. Hey, Kathy. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, as if people weren't scared enough about this coronavirus stuff. That's right. And that's really wow. what we see is when things start to tug at people's emotions and they get scared or worried, then the scams follow. And so, you know, it's just a good time for us all to think about that and slow down and take be careful about what we're doing. So Federal Trade Commission is sending out information to all of us saying, you know, watch out for these scams. Yeah, so what do some of these scams look like? So we're seeing them come across right now in things like emails or on social media posts. Of course, it could change tomorrow. And right. Be, you know, you could start getting things in maybe by phone calls or email or mail. But however they arrive, it's just a reminder to us that when things come in, um, to stop and think about it before we act impulsively out of a fear. So especially things to think about is, you know, when you see offers about like there's a miracle cure or there's a new medical product or vaccination, you know, think about the source of the information and would you be getting a sale for it or would it be better to check with your public health district to see what's really the latest information? Sure. So if you get a message or something like that that sounds a little off, what do you do to to keep the scammers at bay here? Well, we don't, you know, don't be clicking on links in emails. Yeah. That's always a good place to start. Um, use your savviness. You know, I think most people, when they stop and slow down and think about it, um, if somebody is saying they've got this perfect um, investment that's guaranteed to make you a huge amount of money um, because there's a miracle drug or a product coming out, stop and think like, why would I be getting that information? And does it make sense that I should be jumping on this? So, you know, always do your homework. If you feel like you're getting a message, you know, think about who would, who, where's another source that I could check? Where else would it make sense to check around? Um, and so it, it, it's just a matter, I think, of just not always believing the first thing that's in front of you, but looking around. So certainly the Federal Trade Commission has great information coming out. Our public health districts have all the updated information from the CDC. So those are the places to look for. But we want to watch out for online scams about vaccinations, investment scams. And then the other one is, you know, if people are trying to get money for charities or crowdsourcing. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Is there uh, any way to report these scammers if you get an email, or is it kind of just important for us to just be having this conversation? I think having this conversation is important. Reporting anything to the Federal Trade Commission website, that's always a great idea. They can track a little better about what's happening and get out good information. If at any time you feel concerned, like somebody's approaching you or you're worried, then call your local police department. Um, so if there's a physical threat to you, always just go straight to the police. Of course. Absolutely. And you mentioned a lot of good sources for quality information. Some random person who emails you probably is not one of those. That's right. So always double check the source and where it's coming from. I know that people are going to want to give because if there's something, if things do get bad, which I don't know that that's happening, but you know, then there's always cases that pop up of giving. Giving is good, but you know, you can check where that, where you're giving to. Very good. Kathy, thanks so much for being here. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. We'll be right, we'll be right back. back.